everyone. My name is Donnie Grieco, and I am a program associate from the School-Based Health Alliance. Today, I'd like to provide a brief introduction to the Children's Health and Education Mapping Tool, including an overview of its functionality, potential uses, and some background information. This video tutorial is intended to provide new users with a description on how to understand how the tool works and some key areas in which it can be utilized. So, the School-Based Health Alliance's Children's Health and Education Mapping Tool is a free interactive resource for individuals seeking to address chronic inequities among low-income children and adolescents. Initially introduced in 2014 in conjunction with Health Landscapes at the Robert Graham Center for Policy Research in Family Medicine and Primary Care, the tool has progressed into a user-friendly system designed to identify and characterize medically underserved areas and expand health service accessibility. The tool itself uses Geographic Information System, or GIS, mapping for making data-driven decisions. It can be used in public health to look at overlay data by location, map health disparities, and determine areas of need. Essentially, the system works to provide county level information on child health, education, and socioeconomic status. This information can be searched, mapped, downloaded, and compared to national averages. The tool itself is a great way to find and present key data regarding specific areas, schools, and school-based health centers. So broadly, there are seven areas that the tool is intended to assist with, including assessing community health. Um, so this can be for different public schools or overarching areas, identifying areas of need, um, using the map to focus on areas with larger disparities in a specific area of interest, planning, so using the map to target and create a plan addressing high need areas, examining characteristics of public schools and school-based health centers. Uh, the tool can filter public schools of interest by specific areas such as, or by characteristics such as Title I eligibility, grades served, free and reduced lunch rate, and more. Collaborating with others, um, it can display contact information of health centers and indicate which schools have existing relationships with those health centers advocating so raising funds among or raising awareness amongst policymakers to review county or congressional district information and fundraising utilizing compelling visuals and relevant data to be downloaded and incorporated into grant applications so here is another overview of some of those key features including that idea of facilitating connections, assessing community needs, and public health emergency mobilization. Um, when it comes to facilitating connections, the tool can be used to visualize locations of schools, community health care providers, and, and explore those potential partnerships between them. Also, when it comes to assessing community need, users can view data traditionally reported in separate silos. Search, map, and download those indicators. It can also assist with public health emergency mobilization. Whenever this comes to streamlining emergency preparedness efforts, where the work to see where the work is being done and how to target different areas in the future, it can also be used for assistance in pandemic mitigation strategies. So just a brief overview of some of the tools for developing resources that the mapping tool includes. Users can upload their data to map points and aggregate geography data. They can customize the display by creating boundaries, arranging and changing the layers, and opa the layers opacity, and isolate a state of interest for more of a focused report. The data files can be exported, downloaded, and users can customize them by adding titles, legends, and changing between portrait and landscape view of the map. There are a few data limitations to note about the tool. It's important to be aware 
of what it can do, but also what it cannot. The data is not live. So please check the data sources to see the year of data reflected on the map for locations and health and education indicators. School-based health center locations are updated based on responses to the school-based health alliance's last national census of school-based health centers. Uh, schools at SBHCs might have opened or closed since the previous data update. Also, the child health and education indicator data is at the county level. Variations may exist within counties that the data does not show. The mapping tool also cannot explain causation of child health and educator, education indicator values. It does not test for stati statistically significant differences between populations or locations. With that said, thank you for watching this video and please continue on to the individual topics for the mapping tool and how to use it. I'm Donnie Grieco. Have a great day.